Good day everyone, you're watching Rate Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if you get an error message saying that there isn't enough memory while you're trying to open an Excel file or when you're trying to work on an Excel file. Now, there might be an instances that you might see an error message saying that uh, you're not able to open Excel file. So there are going to, I'm going to walk you through a couple of fixes which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is to do um, to check if there are any multiple processes running for Excel. So to do that, you can open the task manager by pressing Control Shift Escape, which will open up the task manager. In case if the task manager shows few details, what you can do is you can click on more details directly. Go go to the details window and uh, take you check for the excel.exe processes uh, under this section you can do a right click and click on end task if there are any multiple excel.exe you will have to follow the same process for all the excel.exe once this is done then you can try to open the excel file which, are, which you were trying to open and see if that works now in case if that doesn't work the next step what i would suggest you to do is um, i would suggest you to go ahead and check go to the location where you have saved the excel file and do a right click click on properties under properties see if there is an unblock uh, option checked under the security section if the, if it is checked go ahead and uncheck the box click on apply then click on ok and then try to open the excel file in case if you are able to open the excel file well and good uh, you don't have to worry about it however um, I would suggest you to go ahead and uh, uncheck a couple of options here uh, so because the Excel would um, so to do that what you will have to do is you will have to go to file go to options once you're on the options um, go ahead and go under advanced tab under advanced tab you will have to go under the general tab uh, which you will have to scroll down under this section and make sure you go ahead and check which says ignore other application that use dynamic data exchange check the box click on it okay and once this is done the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would also suggest you to turn off the manual automatic calculation so if it is set to automatic select manual and click on um, this is one option and once that is done go to trust center under trust center click on trust center settings and uh, under protected view make sure all these options are unchecked so that whenever you're trying to open the excel file your excel file opens without any issues click on ok then click on ok and uh, check uh, see if, uh, if the app application is crashing now in spite of trying all this uh, if you're still facing a problem there's another step what i would suggest you to do is um, go under formula section and under calculation type make sure this has been set to manual so that any if there are any uh, manual formula if there are any formulas those formulas would be uh, manually calculated so you can if these check boxes are checked to manual you will have to click on calculate now in case if you have to calculate any formulas so these are the options um, which you can try to get this issue resolved now the last tip what i would also suggest you to do is to check the file size of uh, the uh, excel file which you're working on in case if the file size is too large i would suggest you to split the size file into two parts and then start working on it so in case if there are uh, file size file size is too large you would stay you might face the same problem so i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.